Once you have assembled your crew with or without the new specialized roles gear, the almighty Valakar is ready to give you a challenge. You may remember it from one of the earliest trailers released for Star Citizen. This was around 10 years ago. I believe there was no clear idea with this worm back then, what it was for and how it would uh, appear. It was just something they wanted to be part of this game. And finally we have arrived here, where this worm is part of a monster hunt. Assemble your crew and take it on. So how will this all play out? First we need to trigger this fight. The terrain must be disturbed with a ground vehicle and only then this behemoth will appear. Currently it is not exactly clear where we can find this beast, as it does not seem likely to be all over planets in Pyro. The fight itself is supposed to be rather long and the damage this worm can do may be fatal to smaller vehicles. It can slam with the mass of its body, bite with its jaws and even throw rocks with its mouth. From what we have seen it is clear that some of the smaller ships which get hit by rocks or other things are pretty much right out of the fight. It was noted that, that the worm is roughly 150 times harder to kill than an Aegis Titan Avenger. They possibly mean how much this worm has health. Since Avenger Titan has 11,900 health, the worm would have roughly 1,785,000 health. Or around so. That is quite a lot of damage this worm can take. But there is a minor upside we will be able to estimate how far along the worm's health is, how far along the fight is. Because this visual damage scaling display shows the health decline from 100% to 1%, showing the damage which the worm has suffered. So once you have taken down this behemoth, what can we get from this gigantic worm? It has two main resources which are intended to be very valuable and used for crafting the pearls and the teeth of this worm. There is no 100% clear information for what these resources will be used for, but if it is truly that hard to get and no one really is selling it, they must have some value. When the worm is taken down, it will remain physical, like a rock. You can climb on it and loot all of its goods. You should be able to get the pearls quite easily, but to remove the fangs, you will need a stronger tractor beam to pull them out. There are also plans for different types of this worm, for different biomes, like forests, jungles, caves, swamps. There will also be two smaller types of this worm, the juvenile Valakar, which you may find in caves, and the adult Valakar, which will appear after a certain amount of juveniles have been put down, and the apex Valakar, which is of course the monster hunt worm. From the small animation they showed us, a lot more creatures can be seen which are planned to fill the universe of the game. They may also go through certain changes and styles, so they can end up being altered from the original concept. But there are some really interesting and nifty creatures here, some even humanoid. Not all of them will be gigantic, not all of them will be predators, not all of them will be herbivores and not all of them may be passive. The biggest questions I have, what are those things? Like we have our lizards, our rat-like creatures, flying creatures, dinosaur-like, worm-like, humanoid, yeti-like, or perhaps bear-like. Possibly they are some variation of a space whale or something. Because there are quite a bit of worms and quite a bit of small creatures as it appears. I would guess once Valakar is ready, all the other creatures of the same style, the worm style, will be a lot easier to implement. Possibly same can be said for flying creatures and other similar type of creatures. Perhaps we could also create another type of monster hunt. Some place where vehicles can't be used, only first person combat. Deep in a cave, perhaps in a very thick and lush jungle. Fighting against some creature like the Juggernaut from Helldivers 2. Because it kinda looks to be in the corner right there. But for now, I would really like to see Valakar, I would really love to fight Valakar. And I would really like to know what valuable things can we build from those pearls and those fangs. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe and thanks for watching.